Hello and welcome to the Ascension SMP. Yeah, that's right. I am on an SMP. <laughs> and today I've got a lot of stuff that I actually need to get done. Uh, first, I need to fix my base. It's actually my starter base that I haven't finished yet. Excuse me, villager. I am trying to make a video here. Uh, these guys, why are you touching your noses together? That looked kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, these guys came from down here. I had kind of an unfortunate happenstance. Um, I heard a whole bunch of mobs <laughs> right up there. I broke that block and a couple of creepers fell down and blew up. And I thought they killed those two villagers, but they ended up being upstairs. So, but anyway, yes, it made a huge mess. And I'm going to have to fix this and outside. And as you can see, my base is not done. In fact, there are so many people on the server that have really huge bases already. And they're all done. They're all complete. And they look fantastic. So I've got to fix this today. And we're also probably, if we have time, I think we're going to make a mob farm in this giant hole that Mossy dug on a stream a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to tear down this uh, sugarcane farm and make something a little bit more automatic. Now, you may be wondering, Tim, why haven't you been playing on the Let's Play series or more hardcore worlds or anything like that? And the answer is pretty simple. I am working on a kind of a super secret project with some other content creators and some friends of mine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually gonna be great, but it is a secret. I can't tell you what it is, but I have been working on that, which is why I haven't been really playing on my Let's Play world very much. Now, it actually has been quite a blessing in disguise because it's actually given me a lot of time to just be able to play Minecraft here on the SMP and just have fun and, and relax. You know, sometimes it's nice just to relax and play Minecraft and not worry about making a video or something like that. But today, today's gonna change just a little bit. Uh, so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna tear this down. I'm gonna fix the farm inside and then maybe I'll go show you the shopping district. All right, so I guess step one is we need to get these guys back in place. So what we can do is we just need to grab some lecterns, which I got them right here. Whenever I do anything with villagers, I always try to use their AI to move them because it's just so much easier. Actually, you know, before we do this, we need to fill in this floor. Okay, so I fixed the floor and I've got the lecterns in, but the villagers still aren't trying to come down. Oh, wait, here they come. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's trap them inside. <laughs> let's get our glass ready. Which one are you going to pick? No, no, no. It's over here. You got to come over here, dude. No, what are you Why are you dancing? No, come on. Let's go over here. Come on. No. Okay. This is why I hate villagers. Excuse me, would you please stop chatting with your farmer friend and please go in your hole. I really need to get this done. Excuse me, Mr. Guy, stop talking to him. Oh, we got one. Okay, we got one in there. That's great. Oh wait, let's see if we can trap him all the way in. Oh, stupid server lag. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a bunch of mobs right up here and I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice and break that block. I'm gonna go up there and kill him later. Okay, so I got one villager in there, and uh, the other guy is up here somewhere. Let's go see if we can find him. All right, I managed to trap this guy on the second floor. He can't get up there now. Now I need to get him into the basement, so... Can you please get in this boat? Why are you looking at the boat? Get in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. There we go. Okay, let's take him downstairs. Okay, we'll close him in and hopefully not hit the villager. Perfect. Okay, now, oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna do it? Can't, ah, lag. Go in there. Let me trap you. Uh, yes, finally. Okay, let's get our trap door. Woo. Now this down here is an iron farm, and uh, it kind of blew up when the creepers fell down here. And I'm trying to get them to make another baby so that way I can have three villagers. Uh, but I'm not really interested in making this right now. Uh, let's see, maybe they will make a baby this time. It's actually the third or fourth time I've done this and uh, I haven't got any babies yet. So will they do it? Please? Please? No. Okay. Forget it. I ain't doing it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, next order of business is we are going to tear down the sugarcane farm that Mossy built. And uh, if, if you're watching this, Mossy fans, then uh, 
I've already spoken to Mossy. He's fine. He's fine with me tearing it down. So <laughs> uh, I guess let's hit some time lapse music. I'll tear this down real quick and then we'll, ow. Then we'll head over to the shopping district. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna go over to the shopping district because I wanna buy some stuff that we're gonna need for this farm over here. And I think we're gonna need a lot of observers and you know pistons, that type of thing. And I don't have much redstone, so uh, I think we're gonna just try to go buy it. Oh, I need to enter chest. And welcome to the shopping district. And man, this place is looking fantastic. Who's this? Oh, it's the Warfare guy. Oh, and Goblin's over there too. What's up? Oh, he just walked right past me. See ya. <laughs> Lag. Okay. Let's go say hi to the goblin. He's right over here. Why is he levitating? <laughs> the, the server lag. Oh my goodness. What's up? Oh, I've got my chat off. One second. Let me turn that on. <laughs> I'm just letting him know that I'm recording. What's up, goblin? So this is the goblin shop over here, actually. Um, he's, he sells books, which is nice because... Uh, I've, I've probably spent more diamonds there than I have anywhere else. <laughs> but just over here, there is a redstone shop. Now, as, the last couple times I've been here, there's not been any stock um, whatsoever. Yeah, it's all out still. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to go craft my own redstone supplies, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, so it reminds me, seeing Goblin and the Wharf over there. Uh, so a few weeks ago... I made a poll on Discord and on YouTube, and I asked, what is your favorite? Is it waffles or is it pancakes? And so we've basically just been having like a server war, <laughs> uh, vers you know, waffles versus pancakes. And uh, it started to heat up a little bit in the Discord. I mean, it's all friendly, you know, uh, nobody's getting mad or anything like that, but it's fun, fun and games. So it gave me an idea. And I think we need to drag the Discord, Discord, <laughs> into the SMP, and it's time for war. Waffle war. Now, I'm definitely not going to kill anyone or, you know, steal anybody's stuff. But what I do want to do is, I want to, wow, that was a horrible, horrible shot. <laughs> I do want to uh, prank their bases. And now Goblin, he is a huge, huge pancake lover. I am a waffle guy. So I think he's going to be our first victim. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go try to find a bunch of cobwebs and we are going to cobweb up his house big time. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that there is a stronghold just down here by our skeleton spawner. Yeah, here we go. Aha, we have some more cobwebs. Okay, now what would be really nice is if we could find some of those spider spawners that have a whole bunch of cobwebs around it. Uh, cause it's gonna take forever if we just find one or two here and there. Ooh, is that one? I think it is. Grab these. Okay, here's the spider spawner. It looks like somebody's cleared out some of it already. Ah. Aha, look what we found. Oh yes, this is gonna be perfect. All right, let's close this in and hello spider spawner. I'm going to take all of your cobwebs. Oh, wow, we've got two of them here. Oh, guys, this would be perfect for a farm. We might actually have to take these coordinates down. Okay, so, so far I've only got a stack and ten, and I think I need probably at least three stacks to do this. So I think we're going to have to keep going. Hopefully we can find enough in this dungeon. Ooh, hello there. We found some diamonds. Somebody missed those. <laughs> I think we found another spider spawner. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, wow. You have company. Oh, okay, guys. I think I've probably got enough. I can't find any more. I've got a stack and a half, basically. So I think this is going to be perfect. Now, let's try to get out of here and go find goblin space. All right, so we are back, and now we're going to head into the nether, 
and hopefully be able to find Goblin Space. It is a really, really long way away, uh, but seeing how I'm the only one, well, I, there's one other person on the server, but hopefully the lag won't be an issue and I can go ahead and fly. Usually I have a pretty big lag issue when it comes to flying in the nether or in the overworld, uh, but it actually seems to be working pretty good right now. Okay, it looks like we finally made it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cobweb basically just the inside of his portal. So as soon as he gets into his base, he's gonna see nothing but uh, cobwebs. Now that's a problem because I don't know which one he uses. I think he uses this one. Hello, chicken. Jerry, Jerry the chicken. Thank you for the egg. I was actually needing an egg the other day, so that's perfect. Welcome to Goblin and Wob Space. So this is, this is it. Let's get our cobwebs ready. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill up this entire room with cobwebs. And let me see. Yes, he is not online at the moment, so this is gonna be perfect. We need to hurry up before he actually gets online because I don't want him to catch me in the act. Guys, I'm out of cobwebs. That's all I have. Man, that was only two and a half stacks. I should have got more, but oh well. This is gonna be a good start. Now, I think we do need to leave him a sign uh, telling him who is responsible for all of this mess. Okay, there we go. The Waffle War has only begun. Waffle Leader, AKA myself. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and head back home. Okay, well, that was definitely a success. We're definitely gonna have to come up with better pranks though. So let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything uh, that you want me to prank any of the uh, pancake lovers bases with. Uh, we're definitely gonna do some more of this. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. So it's now the next morning and I went ahead and fixed my iron farm. To the best of my ability, I'm probably gonna end up removing all of that and just kind of starting over because it doesn't really work that great. I think maybe I might make my micro iron farm in there, but we'll see. So the next order of business, why is there glass here? What in the world? I didn't do this. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> they retaliated already. Oh my goodness. This is this this has the name of the pancake lovers on it. They did this. I know it. I know they did this. <laughs> oh no. And you know what? This is actually a better There's magma cubes in here. <laughs> no! No, no, I hate guys. I hate magma cubes. They're the worst mob in the entire game. Oh no Are you serious? How how did they get a magma cube in here? Uh, come here. Oh, what does it say from the pancake leader? Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh Well, I mean at least under I'm not surrounded by lava in some uh, basalt delta with those things. I hate them things. Oh, this is, this is hor- this is gonna take me forever! <laughs> no! Okay, now that I've got that all cleaned up, I think it is time that we go make our mob farm. And guys, I need- I'm not a very creative person, so I need your help. We- I need to know how I can retaliate against the pancake leader. So, let me know in the comments how I'm gonna do that. So, without further ado, do, let's hit that time-lapse music. Open, please. <laughs> <laughs> and let's make a mob farm. So I ended up losing a whole bunch of replay mod footage. I don't know why it didn't record. I'm such a professional. But anyway, we went ahead and added a hopper clock and uh, put some tinted glass in here. And I also want to say thank you to Jason for helping me build this farm. All right, now that we have our mom farm done, I want to head back to the shopping district because there is something that I really need to show you guys. And I'm actually very excited about it. Okay, so here we are at the shopping district and just over this way, we have something called Battle Tower, which is a PVP arena that BMIJ has set up. And uh, it's been a big hit here on the server. Woo, lag. And uh, I am waiting for Effect Unknown to get on the server, unfortunately he's not here right now. So this might have to wait until next episode, but I am wanting to play this. So that's not all that I want to show you. Over here we have something called Solar Park. And, and it's a place, it's like a theme park that 12 and the wharf has put together. 
and uh, I'm going to put links to their channels in the description so you guys can go check them out. Um, can I land, please? Thank you. <laughs> uh, over here, right behind me, we have to buy tickets. And we can go and we can uh, ride rides and do all kinds of fun things. And, and I'm going to do this on a live stream. I haven't been in there yet, um, but I want to do that on a live stream with all of you guys. And I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So uh, I think probably within the next week, I'll probably do that. So uh, I'll announce it on, on YouTube and on Discord so you guys can come join me. Uh, but I think that's going to be great. And if you guys are on the Ascension SMP want to come, you know, play with me, PvP me, whatever on that live stream, then we'll go ahead and do that. But I must warn you, I do suck at PvP and parkour and pretty much everything else in Minecraft. But anyway, guys, I sure hope you liked this episode. I know I did. Uh, I really enjoyed pranking Goblin and then him pranking me back. I'm, we're going to have to retaliate. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what we're going to do next. So anyway, guys, take care and remember, be nice.